Yeah, the Excel Centre is, is, a, is a world class exhibition venue and what that gave us was upwards of 90,000 square metres of space um, to, to put our exhibition, to put our event into. That meant we we didn't have to solve challenges that previous events have had to solve around power, services uh, and other aspects of delivery because they were already there. That 90,000 square metres breaks down into about 10, 11, 12 football pitches of space. Uh, in that we housed our 46 competitions and around that we put um, have a go, showcasing, make it happen, uh, information advice and guidance and various other aspects around presentation skills uh, to make up our entire event. Well, I, I think it's an absolutely brilliant event. I mean, the scale is just mind-boggling. This venue is the very best venue that I've seen. The United Kingdom has done an awesome job of setting this all up for us. I've been to five and I've worked in four. Um, I find this venue amazing. We brought in 250,000 different bits of kit, and that was just for the 46 competitions. That didn't cover Have A Go showcasing and the various other sections of the event that we kitted out. That translated into about 18 and a half million pounds worth of stuff that we had to kit out, be that hammers, nails, nuts, bolts, hair dryers, completely fitted kitchens, cars, when you actually look at the scale, the numbers are sort of infamous at Melville. Uh, the average exhibition would probably look three or four hundred sockets. On this, we're approaching four thousand. Uh, over seven miles of walling, so we could literally go from here to Tower Bridge with the amount of walling here. So the numbers are just unimaginable. Uh, we've had in the region of a thousand kilo of diced chicken come in today, um, obviously to feed them for tomorrow for having a shish kebab. Um, and just the, the yield that we're going through, 30,000 geo bars, you know, we had 50,000 juice cartons come through, so the actual scale of it is actually you know, monumental, really. We had just over 2,500 people come to the restaurant and we fed them in an hour. We have 1,800 seats, 5,500 people, 46 nationalities with cultural, religious and dietary requirements, which is the biggest challenge that we have. In talking to one of the guys from the RAF, he likened it to fitting out the Art Royal four times and then taking it apart again each time in terms of the amount of kit and materials that we brought into Excel. We had challenges in most of the skills, but each different skill had its own little nuances and its own um, areas of challenge and its own different problems that we had to solve. In brick laying we had two 12 and a half metre uh, cement silos that we brought in that we had to reinforce areas of the floor to put them on. We also had offset printing. It's the first time that offset printing machines have, have been on the show floor in Excel. Uh, and we went through a prolonged phase of checking that the floor would actually take it and we wouldn't end up with offset printers in the car park underneath, which thankfully we didn't. Let me tell you, it's never been better than this. We have 12 fully functioning paint boots up and running, all the competitors doing different things, spraying different panels. It's amazing. We've had custom-made ducting put in the ceilings just for this one event. We're the only skill area in this entire thing that has our own ducting custom-built for this exhibition. This stand was put together in five days. Everything you see, five days. Phenomenal effort. And let me tell you, it wasn't easy, but it was worth it. Obviously, our sponsors were, were very, very good to us. Uh, and they gave us lots and lots of different materials, lots and lots of different kit. We had cars from Honda, CNC milling and turning machines from Morisaki. We had uh, landscape gardening tools from Bulldog. The list goes on and on. City Gills are the premier sponsor, or one of the premier sponsors of World Skills, and we stepped up to the plate when London was awarded the 2011 uh, programme. We're delighted to be his premier sponsor. This is an incredibly important event and we're delighted to see so many people here learning and seeing outstanding talent demonstrating their skills. The various different sponsors require us to do various different things with their kit. Samsung, for instance, uh, have asked us to make sure that a lot of the kit that they gave us is passed on into the schools and colleges network. 
Some of our sponsors simply lent us equipment. Obviously, they did a lot more than just lend us equipment. They gave us technicians, they helped us out with marketing, etc. But those organisations that lent us the equipment have taken it back and then they sell it off to other people. Wilskis is very much a family and, and those who have competed often go on to be experts, often go on to be involved as, as workshop supervisors. The majority of the workshop supervisor team, so about 30, 35 of them, had visited Calgary, the previous competition, to give them an understanding of what a World Skills event is. Because it's such a big thing on such a different scale to what a lot of people have seen in vocational education training in this country. Uh, that we, we used that opportunity to make these people understand what it was they were going to have to help us put together.